The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growl and problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up three, NASDAQ is up six, SP is a flat. Gold, gold contracts up a buck, trading at 14.11 an ounce. Silver, silver's catching the bid once again, folks, up 17 cents, $15.85. Uh, they're, they're buying silver hand over fist. Notes and bonds, you get the 10-year up 7 ticks, 127.05, 30-year up 18 at 154.06, and King Dollar. King Dollar down 71 ticks, trading 96.970. The euro is at 112, the yen is at 108.27, and the pound is trading out at 124 to 1 U.S. dollar. Tom O'Brien, what's going on? Hello. Oh. Okay, we'll get him. I can see him. <laughs> Uh, so let's go over to the silver market first, folks. Uh, what we have with silver out here, bottom line is that the silver market has caught a bid uh, in a big way. Uh, what we had out here yesterday, you had wide price spread, you had accelerated volume. Uh, bottom line takes out a B point of an ABC structure on the way up. The B point that we're talking about is $15.62. And uh, we blew that away with uh, 129,000 contracts. You there yet, Tom? Okay, Al, if you can work on that, man, that'd be great. So silver, silver right, silver right now uh, is at 1585. Uh, bottom line, I expect it's going to run up to there to the 1647 uh, mark. Uh, if you take a look at a few of the uh, silver equities, what you have, you get Pan American silver that blew away its B point yesterday. Has the volume behind the move? Uh, First Majestic also blew away the B point. Has volume, has price, has it all. Um, that B point on First Majestic was at uh, 813 or at 888 right now, uh, and there's no doubt this has been uh, quite a move. CSX, uh, CSX came out with numbers last night. This thing is getting destroyed this morning. Down seven dollars, down 10 percent, blowing away the consolidation that it had been in, uh, taking out the swing point, and it's already taken it out with monster volume. So th what this is laying out, folks, okay, which is pretty intense. So CSX closed yesterday. $78, uh, $79.55. Comes out with numbers, and inside those numbers, uh, the, one of their large problems, of course, is that you get the trade tariffs. Uh, people are basically pushing less goods across the country because guess what? There's more tax, less goods. Bottom line, blows away the B point. This thing can now get down into the, like the $65 level. So we're talking some uh, heavy downtown business uh, inside of this. Uh, and that had been over... Let's see, it had broken out uh, April. April of 2019, gotten another larger range. Now its game is uh, all the way back to December of uh, uh, last year. So it's going to be pretty wild. Tom O'Brien, what's happening, man? I got you this time. That's, good morning. That's a beautiful thing. Totally. How are we doing, man? Good, man. Good. So uh, this silver deal is quite a deal, man. Um, and, you know, w w when I say quite a deal, folks, what I mean by that is this, is that... I was hunting even last night, like, okay, what is the catalyst? And I can't find one. <laughs> now, silver, no doubt, has been lagging gold in an incredible way, okay? But, man, it's catching up quick, you know? So we'll see where this goes. I mean, they, they, they bought it hand over fist starting at, like, 9 o'clock yesterday morning, and they just continue. We've already done 56,000 contracts. So we'll see where this uh, shakes out. But someone wants in that silver market in a big way, so... About time that's silver, right? It is. It is about time. There, there's yeah. no. There's no. Listen. There's no doubt about that. If you here, watch this, folks. I'll put up the. If you put up the continuous contract in gold versus silver, let me pull this back. You'll see that how much the gold contract has outperformed silver in a huge way. Let's compare that. So I get gold up, and then we'll compare that with the. I mean, if you put them comparatively as you pull it up, I'll just, uh, I mean, some of them I remember when we put it on a longer term, like over the last three years, if they just kept um, on par with each other, yeah. um, you know, I think silver would be at like $19. Right. You know, yeah, something so. to that type of action, yeah. Yeah, there, there you go. I got, I got it up right now, folks, and you're going you're gonna to see, uh, uh, 
when you're looking at this, what, what you have is this. Silver is the yellow line, gold is the white. And, you know, if they were staying on par, bottom line is that that yellow line should be up there uh, with that white line. And it's like yeah, not even close. Which is, which would make it above 18 bucks. Yes. And that's only going back to 2014. Yeah. Right. And really, that's actually only going back to like 2018, actually, if you look at it, right? I mean, in, in terms of just that divergence kind of started happening in September almost, it looks like, of, of 2018. When you really had silver decline and gold kind of held held pretty pretty decently. Right now, look at this one. I just turned around, folks. I put something's, that. On, I put yeah, that on monthly. <laughs> that's that's like. Are you something's kidding? going on weird with that chart, though. I don't think you have the continuous silver, maybe, or something. Do you see how the yellow chart, the yellow I, bar is? Not, I do. Yeah, it is continuous, but it's it's okay. not it's yeah, not no, it's I not printing right. like it should. Yeah, that's the yeah. bottom line. But, but either you, way, right? You can right, tell. Right, right. Exactly. You know, you can you can see that this yellow line is way underneath it. So. We'll see uh, how the rest of this baby shakes out. Um, you know, the it certainly has a bid now uh, in, in a big way. And the dollar, folks, still hasn't fallen apart, fallen apart. It's not even close, okay? What the dollar did is it, it got over the highs of yesterday. You know, it's underneath them right now. It's going to have lighter volume. You know, we'll see how that shakes out. Uh, Bitcoin, they uh, continued to take Bitcoin apart yesterday. This is quite, this is quite a move, man. Uh, this morning, we get down to... Uh, 9,000, <laughs> and it's $600 yeah. off 9,000 right now. So <laughs> that's quite a move, too, you know, no it doubt. It is, man. It is. Uh, so the, um, let me see. I, I want to go into the transport. So what we had yesterday, folks, is that the transports, every equity inside the transports yesterday was positive. Every equity inside the transports today is negative. <laughs> I mean, you talk <laughs> about... I mean, look at this. Isn't this crazy? Look at this. Yeah. So yesterday, folks, the transports got up to 10,876. We're at 10,487. I mean, you talk about a smoking. This is like a smoking in, in an incredible way. Let me put this. Let me see. So I got the trans. Oh, well, look at CSX down 10%. What's oh, going yeah. on over there? No, they come out with their numbers. Okay. And the, when they come out with their numbers, their bottom line is that their, uh, their bulk, you know, freight, has gone down and they expect it to come down more and you know their bottom line is saying hey listen man you know TAFs are taking an effect and as the okay. what happens folks is that so picture your TAF takes effect you know and let's say we're we're running about 25 to 26 and a half percent taxes on stuff that's coming in from China so what ends up happening whether the, it comes in on L, at LA whether it comes in in Alabama whether it comes in New York you know it comes into the ports the what ends up happening, the trains pick it up, they start transporting it, guess what? If you're transporting less goods, guess what? It comes down to the bottom line very quickly. And, yeah. um, you know, so you can see these railroads. Uh, NSC, yeah, Norfolk Southern is down. Uh, that's putting uh, 59 negative points in. You got Union Pacific putting 56 in. Big numbers, man. Um, let me just see this one. Northern NSC. Okay, so they see there. So this is uh, off 5%. They're coming out with their numbers on the 24th. Now, this hasn't broken the consolidation yet, but guess what? This is going to be really dangerous uh, for these uh, railroads. You know, because, and just, you got to remember something. They're at all-time highs anyway, so. Yeah, you know. yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow down 21, NASDAQ off 4, S&P's down 4. Come right back. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Dow. Dow Industrials right now are down 26. You get the NASDAQ off four. S&Ps are off uh, five and a half. And folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, we're talking gold, we're talking silver. Well, we get a uh, little celebration going on over here. Uh, and uh, it's, it's really hard to comprehend that. So this coming week, folks, uh, is the 900th edition of the Gold Report. Uh, when we say time goes quick, man, it really goes quick. What have so, you been doing for the last 900 weeks, man? You've it, been writing the gold report. That's what you've been doing. <laughs> I, I had to look it up real quick. It's 17.3 years, something to that degree. Uh, pretty remarkable. <laughs> and, and you know that it's 2002, so I know it's you know you know it's 17 years. But congratulations, man. It's quite a quite a feat. To, it's crazy. Uh, it's just, put in that work as you do every week, man. It is awesome. Fast 17 years, man. I'm telling you, man. Uh, pretty crazy. So what we're doing, folks, we're going to do a promotion uh, from now until the end of the month, right? I believe, right? Yes. Tom? Yep. Yeah. You okay. got it. So the way it's going to work is this, is that normally the gold report is uh, $695 for a year, folks, okay? Uh, if you want to get the gold report for a year, you can get it for $495. Uh, the way it's going to work is this, is that... You go to TFNN, you're going to go to Featured Content, you're going to see the Gold Report Issue 900 Special. Uh, you just hit that, and what you're going to see is that we do this through the Tiger Dollar program so that it's very easy accountability-wise, okay? So you'll pay, yeah. you pay $495, you're going to get the Gold Report for a year, which is uh, $695. So, and let me just walk through. So it's a two-step uh, process, right? So number one, you're going to buy some Tiger Dollars. Yeah. You're going to spend, spend $495. You're going to end up with 695 Tiger Dollars. Okay. Okay. And then you can then take those, apply them to your account, and use them for a year of the gold report. Now, what I want to put out here, though, is that, and that's what we encourage people to do, we designed it so that price tag is exactly the price of the gold report. And we got a few things going on because the price of the gold report is going to be going up on August 1st as well. Right. So there's even more incentive to get in there and sign up if you're thinking about it. I mean, 495 for a full year of the gold report, it's a deal and a half, man. Um, but I just want to throw out that Tiger Dollars can still be used for any product or service that we offer. So if you're out there and you sign up, you know, you're a Fibonacci 24-7 subscriber, if you're a Mastering Probability subscriber, you can 
take part in this promotion still because we wanted to allow everybody to kind of participate. Okay. And you could still use those Tiger dollars for mastering probability. You could still use them for Fibonacci. Or you anything. I got it. Okay. Then. Right. Um, right. But but it's perfectly tailored to to the dollar amount, and that bonus works out. I mean, you're getting a two hundred dollar bonus when you're only spending four ninety five. It's more than a forty percent bonus, which is actually more then our biggest bonuses ever are, even when we do Tiger Dollar sales, normally it's a 10, 15, or 20% bonus. Even when we do our Tiger Dollar sales, we bump it up to maybe 20, 30, or 40% bonus. But to get the 40%, you usually got to spend maybe $1,500. Right. So you're getting more than a 40% bonus. You're only spending 495 and it's the exact price for a year of the Gold Report. If you're thinking about trying it out, Now's a great time. Get in there, and this will run through the end of the month. And uh, issue 900 coming down the line in five days on Monday. Crazy. crazy. It is crazy. So if anybody has any questions about in terms of just uh, how you apply them to the account, it's a really simple process. But don't hesitate to call the office. Allison can always walk you through. Super simple. Once you get them applied, they'll always be used. And then the other thing is that you lock in this rate forever. So we're raising the prices come August 1st. You want to get grandfathered in at that 695 rate? Get in there right now, um, and and really you're getting it at, at 495 because of that Tiger Dollar deal. So heck of a deal, man, as it should be for issue 900 of the Gold Report. And we got gold rocking and rolling, which always oh, helps, man. It's it's you know it's interesting. And silver, as we say, oh. right? The whole deal, right? Yeah, and you know as uh, just as we was ta talking, folks, I mean, you, the, uh, some underlying here, you know, this thing, these things are really moving, man. This is not a, um, and this is how they like to move. Gold, gold and silver commodities in general, when they move, man, they sure. move. Uh, yeah. And that's what we have happening here, you know. And I expect that's going to continue, man, with, with the, the rhetoric and the expectations leading up to the July Fed meeting, let alone the rest of the Fed meetings for this year and next year. Um, see some action in that gold contract i imagine no there's no doubt and and, yeah. and you know when you take a look at it the if we bring up the fed fund future rate okay you can see that we're back to 100 percent uh for july 31st uh okay. we're at 57 percent 57.5 for the september 18th meeting you know yeah. that, that's very that's been varying by two or three percent every day you okay. know 57 to 58 to 56 to 59 um okay. And what's surprising is that the it's still you're at a 36 percent chance that you get a third rate hike uh, cut in uh, October. You know, yeah. so um, you know it's, it's it's hard to still comprehend. There's some that. high probabilities in there. there no, are, I hear you. High are, probabilities. There are yeah, some that, high that, probabilities. Yeah, multiple cuts coming down the line. I even saw a man that uh, it was like 18 percent for four straight rate cuts, um, which. Now, 20 percent, 18, not very likely, but man, the fact that that's not a zero percent chance that you, you're telling me the next four meetings, they're going to cut on all four of them. Oof. Yes. No, I, I it, it's, <laughs> you it, know? it's a monster. It's a monster. Yeah. As we're just at record highs, four straight cuts, man. So let's go. Over, so let's, let's go over to you, uh, CSX. The reason being, yeah. OK, so let's see what they're saying. Um, yeah, because a 10 percent haircut, man. It's, it's a big deal. Up. So CSX plunged, uh, you know, after pairing uh, 2019 sales, uh, and they're, they're, they're saying they have bad weather, snarled railroad shipments, and U.S.-China trade tensions crimp demand from the company's industrial products. Full-year revenue is going to decline by 1% to 2%, CSX said in the statement Tuesday. Um, the company had previously predicted percentage growth in the low single digits. So what you really have here, folks, it's not that it's 1% to 2% down. It's going from up to 1% to 2% down, which, you know, I'm yeah. not, you know that, that's a whole different animal. So we might be, oh. be dealing with... You never, yeah, you never want to go from growth to uh, decreasing revenues, man. Yeah, no doubt. Now, this is going to be the first drop uh, in sales since 2016. Um, both global and U.S. economic conditions have been unusual this year, to say the least, they have, uh, which have impacted our volumes. Uh, the present economic backdrop is one of the most puzzling I've experienced in my career. Well, we all know that. I was, yeah. <laughs> yeah guess the what, club, folks? 26% right. taxes. You know, when you talk taxes, right, think about this for a second, right? The whole, the whole mantra at the, at the beginning of the administration is that I'm going to bring taxes down, bring taxes down. They've brought taxes up so dramatically across all goods okay it's like really 26 percent so just picture for every hundred thousand where's that 
Sorry, where's that 26? I just didn't... Where is it? What, what, what has happened is this. Goods coming in from China right now from, from 25... Oh, you're talking about tariffs. That's okay. right. That's, okay, I, so, I, yes. so what happens is this, is that if you're spending $100,000 in China, folks, okay, you're paying 125 dollars to 126500 for the goods coming in. I mean, yeah. that is intense, you know, so this is... We the, take a lot of goods in from China. Oh, everything. I mean, forget it. Just go in any box store. That's all I have to do. Um, you know, so let's see. Second quarter car loads declined uh, at all. Look at this. At all U.S. major railroads amid weather disruptions, worsening commercial standoff between the U.S. and China. Shippers moved more freight last year uh, as, oh, and then what you have is this. What they're saying, folks, is that the shippers moved more freight because they knew the Chinese... Yeah, were they, coming they in. pushed it all to the last year to beat the tariffs. Yes, exactly. Stay right we there, folks. Oil. We got oil numbers coming up after this break. That's too. a beautiful thing. Stay right there. Tommy and I come right back. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find market insights on the trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now is down 33. You get the NASDAQ off 9. S&P is off 7. See, uh, let's see what we got with this uh, oil market here. Where's this hot oil market going? There we go. So oil inventories uh, fell 3.12 million barrels. Uh, we had, uh, that was the uh, uh, EIA this morning. We had, um, uh, last night it was at 1.4. The fall Okay, was so 
it comes in pretty close to estimates, right? Decline of 3.1, estimate was about a decline of 3. So pretty close to what they were looking for. Last week you were out, man. We had quite a miss. It was a decline of, I think, 9 plus million barrels. Really? Um, yeah, which which saw a, a bit of a run up on the price, but uh, or maybe that's two weeks ago. I'm pretty sure last week. Um, but nonetheless, pretty close. And, um, and maybe we can jump over and see how that market. Ooh, we got a little bit of a spike lower on that initial news, man. Um, that oil contract, we were just up at 58.40 and change, and now we're in the 57s, right back to where we were early overnight. Yep. And yeah, guess what, folks? Is <laughs> that's saying quite a bit that we got a, we have a draw, and oil still can't hold price. Big number. Let's go yeah. to our man Paul in Henderson, Nevada. Hey, Paul, what's going on, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing? Doing great, man. Yourself? Good morning, Paul. Ah, oh, man, I'm having a great day. Shorted that uh, CSX and also. A uh, Cintas out the gate. I guess they had earnings as well last night. What was nice the name of it? Play so far. What was it? Cintas. Oh, Cintas. Cintas. Okay. C T I. No, so that's that's Cintas. That's uh. What? C I N C I N T. What is that C -T -A -S. symbol? Oh, C T A S. Okay, yeah. Now, oh, this is going to get interesting because this is. Um, this is all about supplies. Oh, look, look at this man. So I love this, that stock. Yeah. So check this out, folks. Okay. This is up $19. Now, this is what, what, what is so wild here. So when this stock goes higher, folks, it means the economy is moving like beyond belief. I mean, every restaurant you go in, every, you know, all these rugs, all the, this is what this company does. So, I mean, this thing is booming. Oh, my God, look at this. Oh, this is something else, man. Um, and and my, my point is, is that we're still going to get down on rates. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's one of the Tigers uh, saying that says, uh, I'm Mr. Basil Chapman. He's been looking at this thing forever. Because it, it, it's yeah. a great indication, man. It is absolutely a great indication where the economy's going, man. You know? And this is a breakout. This is a major breakout, man. Pfft. Wild. Yeah, it, uh, it, it's setting up a nice little pattern again right now, perhaps. Um, but what I wanted to ask you about, Tom, was the difference between uh, the XLF and the BKX. I was listening um, to Larry this morning. And he was talking about the BKX, and when I do my analysis, I've been looking at the XLF, and I get a little bit different of a picture, and I'm just curious um, how that shakes out. Okay, well, what's the, the difference? Uh, the BKX, I'm, I'm pulling it up, but I don't... B BKX, BKX. NASDAQ bank oh, index. Oh, okay, hold it. It's an index. Okay, yeah, no, I got it. Okay, so so here, this is what the... I, I believe this is the... Uh, yeah, this is the... Uh, let me just characteristics. I got to see what's inside it because I, I don't believe that this is the the big banks. No, it's not. not. So this is okay. This is they have big banks in there, but this is also the regional banks too. Um, like so, picture this. You do not have the largest weighting structure inside. Here, let me put both of them up at the same time so you can see this. So. X, uh, the, because the, so the question, Paul, is the, the banking, the BKX index versus the XLF, right? Right. Right. Okay. So the XLF, your largest weighting structure inside the XLF is Berkshire Hathaway. Berkshire Hathaway is not even in, in, in this index. Okay. So you got, um, let's see, you got Bank of Mellon, you got UBS, um, you got Wells Fargo, then you got... SunTrust, where when we go take a look at the uh, XLF, you these are the largest banks in the world. You get Berkshire Hathaway's number one at 12, JP Morgan's at 11, Bank of America seven, Wells Fargo five. These are all waiting structures. Citigroup five. Okay, so it is dramatically different, you know, as to um, what the waiting structure is inside of those. You know, that right there is, uh, let's see, that right there is 20, that's that's 30% of the XLF, just those three. Where, yeah, that's a big deal. Yes, it is, it is. And that's what's, you know, that, listen, folks, that's what's so cool about just really getting your head wrapped around uh, what the weighting structures are inside of the different ETFs that you are actually trading, because it's, it's really important, man. It's really important. Um, hey, Tom, do you guys have time for uh, one more? Yeah, yeah. Can we take a look at the um, the USLV? Let's take a look at it. You got the USLV. 
Let's okay, so this is over. yeah, this is <laughs> this is a rocket ship. Okay, so this is the Velocity three times long ETN uh, for Silva. Um, you know, the, this is bottom line on ABC structure on the way up. You know, you you blew away the B point yesterday. Did it with volume. Um, now, what you have to do with this, Paul? Let me just make sure I I want to see if this is the price of silver or the equities. Okay, so this is the long ETN. This is the price of silver. This is the cash price of silver, okay? So if we go over to the silver, which you, you have to trade this right off, you know, the silver contract. And the silver contract's on an ABC structure on the way up, you know? So... So you just go back and forth. So what I do is I just go back and forth with the SLV, and I look at this. Um, yes, you I can do that. Just, yes, okay. that's, that's, a, that's a great way of doing it, exactly. And... You know, what What you don't want to do on that triple silver right now, I would not go overnight on that. You know, because what happens, okay. folks, is this. You can see, and, you know, if you were overnight long, yeah, you just made a fortune. Three days ago, this was only at $14. I mean, three days ago, oh, no, hold on one second. Uh, give me that symbol again, Paul. You? U U-S-L-V. Yeah, so watch this, because I just said... So three days ago, <laughs> this is like, right. yeah. yeah, three days ago you were at $62, now you're at 71 Now it's great when you get it that way, but as to a day tra trading vehicle, well, when you get silver running, it's, it's a great vehicle to trade, man, you know, but guess what? When, when you do get the aspect of finishing the ABC structure up, you know, this baby can back down just as much as it, as it goes up, but. It's, there's no doubt the metals have caught a build here, you know? Yeah, I'm looking forward to see how this all takes out. Hey, thanks so much for your time and answering my questions. I really appreciate it. You have a great one, man. You have a safe one. And Tommy, thanks so much. I know you're going to be Thanks, man. Sweating. I'm going to jump off a bit, but you have a great rest of the show, man. Thanks so much. And it's coming right now, up next, folks, we'll get our man, Mr. Teddy Cakestack. We are going to be talking the currencies. Coming right back. If you are in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. I appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 45, NASDAQ off 11, S&P's off 8.5. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Teddy Kegstad, as we do each and every Wednesday at 40 past the hour. You can reach Teddy every trading day, folks, at Forex. Dash trading dash unlock com. That's Forex dash trading dash unlock com. Teddy Kegstad, what's going on, brother? Guys, ready to talk about the currencies? We're ready, man. You know, I I'll tell you that. <laughs> I, I can't wait because, you know, silver started moving like an explosive move yesterday, and the currencies really are not moving that much. And, and you get a follow through today. It's like, okay, man, someone's buying that hand over fist. But let's start with the currencies. Where do you want to start? Well, I think uh, we have a bit of divergence that's starting to uh, settle into the market here. We have uh, over the past few months, we've seen basically the major currency crosses trade again the dollar in tandem, if you will, um, the Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar were the ones that were kind of going opposite of the majors against the dollar. Okay. Um, as a whole, uh, our euro US dollar has been basically in a range trade for five, six months now. And even though it looks kind of nice on a chart, the ranges have been super, super tight. Yes. Um, now we have heard a lot of rumblings about trying to weaken the dollar to help bolster the uh, US economy and what have you. We know that uh, the Fed chairman spoke last week and was just more of the same when he spoke to the House and the Senate. Now, tomorrow and Friday, we have uh, Fed speeches coming up from other members of the Fed. Okay. But you're going to have a, just a reiteration of what the Fed chairman spoke about last week. Uh, what will be interesting is if there's any talk about what's going on with the U.K., um, because the pound is obviously one of the biggest weights in the dollar index, and where the euro has basically been going nowhere for months, the pound is really, really hitting new lows. It hit uh, two-year lows uh, yesterday and today, and I think that you have to really wonder what's going to happen here with this currency. Like, there is a lot of weakness for many reasons because of the UK economy. Now you have EU saying that uh, it's too hasty of, a, of an exit uh, that they're pushing for right now, which how can it be hasty when they've been dealing it for two years now, even though it's a few months away where they're trying to get this target date? Yeah, so that's, that's quite a move, said, huh? Interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's a big move. And I think that being said is that now we're going to start to see where, you know, the dollar index has been a great way of trying to gauge your forex currency crosses like the euro, the pound, and the yen, and what have you. Yeah. In, overall trends. Um, however, now I think we're going to have a period where if the pound continues to maintain this bear trend, which I think is very likely that it will, um, dollar weakness is not going to lift the pound. It's not going to be the water that's going to lift the boat. You know what I mean? Yes. So the euro, we might now see like a lot of divergent opportunities over the next couple months. Um, meaning that the euro US dollar could see uh, not necessarily a major rally, but maybe lift its range up to that 114 to 116, maybe even pressuring the 119 area. Um, and that would be if dollar weakness starts to come into play, which would be Fed cuts rates in the next meeting, what have you, you know, these are things that we've been talking about. Right. But I don't think that's gonna happen with the pound. I think there's gonna be a complete differential there um, where it's just gonna maintain its bearish move. And then we're gonna start to see some really good trading opportunities um, between these different cross rates. Um, now, like we, I've been saying how the, the Euro-US dollar is going sideways. 
Tommy, I know you like the and Tom, I know you like the yen and stuff, especially with trying to gauge the gold trade. Yes. Um, I think that the with dollar weakness coming in, um, perhaps that that might start to get a move. But the yen, I think, is kind of trapped like the euro U.S. dollar. Right. I don't think you see any major breakouts with them. Um, but now your crosses with say the yen pound or the euro pound or even just the pound dollar. That's where I think the trend is going to start to really weigh on the pound for a while until we start to see something come out of the UK and change things. Boy, you know, there's so much you have to know about the currency market, man. It's pretty wild, man. You know, that's the, I, I love how you put this together, Teddy, you know, because... The dollar what, index, I, this is the thing I'm talking about with you guys today is that we usually look at that as a guide. Yes. I think that's going to be something we can't use as a guide now for the next three to four months. No, which is so, so cool. I'm glad you're teaching us about the other crosses. I get it. I, I get it. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm going to have to start wrapping my head around it. Because let me tell you, man, I was, you know, the silver market has been so far behind the gold market. I mean, in a big way. And then all of a sudden yesterday, man, they're coming in hand over fist, not only just in the commodity. They're coming in on every one of those silver equities. They're blowing away swing points. They have volume behind the move. And it's like, okay, I, so I suspect, and that's what I'll start hunting, it has to do with the uh, different cross rates that you're talking about, not what I'm not normally looking at. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I, I do. In fact, I got a question for you. Um, being that gold and silver are making the moves, and this comes into this point where when you have divergence of currencies, this starts to trickle into other markets. Like, we already know the interest rate variable, it's solid. There's not a question. We don't need to right. try and forecast that for months. Um, but now as far as valuations, like with these trade deals and what do the ramifications mean, what about oil? Let's say that oil, like the oil number that comes out uh, this week, the, uh, the EIA number, yep. it's a very big deal. And, you know, if, I mean, if it's bullish, let's say, and what if we have oil back up at 70, 75 bucks a barrel in two, three months? What does that mean for gold? What does that mean for the dollar? It means that overall we're going to see some major, major swings come September and October. Yeah, and well, with, with oil, it seems like, you know, we had a drawdown today and they're still selling it down. So it looks like oil's having a hard time going past 60 bucks. Now, that being mm -hmm. said, though, what I've watched, okay, which I follow, you know, a lot just in general because I follow some of these stocks, iron ore has taken off, like, beyond belief, folks. Iron ore just went from 450 a ton up to 850 a ton, okay? So, and the reason that, and, and just what I've seen is that when you get a real commodity run, that's what normally starts happening. Do you know what I mean? You get a couple of these anomalies that just take off. Like, wow, man, okay. That just thing almost doubled, right? Um, gold already did this deal. You know, I, I expect higher, but it certainly has, has a bid. Silver's getting a bid right now. And so what I'm looking at today, I'm saying, if, the, if any of these softs, if any of our, our actually farm products start getting a bid, then that is saying, that's saying to me, in a longer run, that the dollar is going to get hit. You know, it hasn't got hit oh, now. Absolutely. You know, it hasn't absolutely. got hit, you know. Um, and you get all the key points about the CRB index. What happens if the metals continue to rise, oil continues to rise? Have you looked at corn lately? I mean, I can't believe I messed up get, trying to get long back in May and still didn't even just buy some out-of-the-money puts. It's up 40% over the past, like, month and a half, and yep. it could double the next two months no and, that, and that's when you know you get a real commodity run folks that's that's yeah. and that, because you know it's also running teddy um the nitrate stocks you know yes. uh, potash they're running like big time man i mean you know cf just went from 39 dollars to 48 dollars in uh three weeks you know? wow that's a big that's a big rally it's a big rally and that what that means folks is that the potash stocks can charge more money to all the farmers because guess what they're making money too and we know they haven't been making money so is that turn out there and we just don't know it yet you know right. listen man it's always a pleasure you're gonna get me studying this week Thanks, i like guys. it i like it okay you can reach teddy every trading day folks at forex dash trading dash unlock.com that's forex dash trading dash unlock.com teddy you have a great one safe one we look forward to the program next week Thanks, guys. Have Thank a good you. one. You Appreciate too. it. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South Africa, African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow is down 94. Nasdaq is off 29. s and is off 13. Gold, gold's catching another bid, folks. Uh, you're getting up 940 right now, trading 1420. Uh, and uh, we today we're celebrating uh, this week. Uh, this is going to be the 900th edition of the Gold Report. <laughs> it's getting a little pretty wild. 17 and a half years, folks. Uh, so if you'd like to get the Gold Report, we got a couple different things happening here. Is that the Gold Report's $695 for the year. You can get it for $4.95 for the year. Uh, the way you do it, you come over to our website at TFNN, you hit the gold report, you're going to buy Tiger Dollars in order to get that. Uh, bottom line, you have two different things happening. If you'd like to get it, now's the time to get it, folks, because we are also going up on price on August 1st. Uh, so you want to get a good report, we get the run going here. Bottom line, check it out on the front page of TFNN. Uh, the, the market itself, it's going to get interesting here. Let's go take a look at these uh, mini S&Ps because as we've gone through the um, last hour, uh, these babies, uh, they're hitting this S&P. There's no doubt about it. Uh, you get, so let's see. Yeah, let's, uh, you get a little small ABC down. Well, let's see what that is. That's 3021. You got about 17 points. Well, that's just finishing up. That's, this can be interesting right kind of right where we are because what you just did is that you finished a small ABC structure on the way down. Uh, intraday this is. 
Uh, we take a look at the spy. Take a, the spy out here. Yeah, same setup. So we'll see if that's the um, end of that first move out here. Some of the uh, higher volume equities. Uh, there we go. You stay right there, folks. We got our man, Think um, Swim, uh, Kevin Hinks, coming up next with his team. Then our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Go get him, folks.